Hello, my name is Jay Elward with The Handmade Angler and I'm here to demonstrate a March Brown Clink Hammer Special. So first off I'm going to put my 1167 Daiichi size 12 hook in the vise and I'm going to orient it so that the top here is flat. Uh, I've got 6x or 6 op brown thread and I'm going to start about a hook eye and a half away from the front of the hook and I'm going to wrap all the way to just beyond that bend and then I'm going to wrap back to about center uh, making maintaining an even underbody and even thread wraps so we're going to use a foam uh, cylinder for the wing post so we're using size 1 8 diameter for the size 12 hook so I'm going to take about, I'm going to make that post just about the length of the top of that wrap to the hook eye. And I'm going to wrap it, put on top of that with three kind of stern wraps. And then I'm going to work my thread back towards the hook bend. Again, creating an even uh, underbody. And what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to trap some more foam in that thorax in order to make this fly a little more buoyant. Uh, since this fly is designed to ride low in the surface film, uh, it's nice just to kind of give it a little more um, flotation so it stays where it's supposed to stay. Okay, so I bring the thread forward now and I'm going to put in a bump in front of that foam post that helps keep it perpendicular. Okay, and then once I get it upright, uh, I'm going to add some thread wraps up the post and these are going to be even thread wraps. One of the tricks to a parachute hackle is making sure that your thread base on the parachute itself is nice and even. I'm going to give it, I don't know, I think I've got like 8 or 10 wraps on there. And when I get to the top, I'm going to work my thread back down again, maintaining that even distribution of thread. Okay, when it comes to the base, I'm going to come back over here. So that's what we got right now. Okay, the next step is to take some brassy ultra wire and copper. And you know, I'm going to clip myself out a few inches of this just to have something to work with. And when I attach this, I want this to be on the underside of the hook shank. And what that does is it helps everything helps the weight distribution of this fly maintain its correct orientation in the water and it helps it hit the water in the right in the right orientation. So once I get that attached, I'm gonna pull down on that copper wire as I wrap back in order to keep it on the underside of the hook. And at the same time, I'm trying to evenly wrap back, keeping that underbody nice and even. So this abd abdomen is gonna be pretty skinny. And I'm going to wrap back until uh, the thread lines up with that hook point. And I think we're just about there, yeah. So now I'm going to bring that thread back towards the post. Again, maintaining even wraps and an even distribution of thread here. Making sure I'm covering all the copper. And then once we hit that foam, I'm going to want to make sure it blends in nice and we end up with a nice toe taper into that thorax. There we go. Okay. I'm going to kind of even up, smooth out that front of the thorax as well. There we go. So I'm going to wrap this copper wire up the hook shank and I want even wraps for this rib even distribution of this you don't want them too tight you don't want them too spaced out but you do want them just perfect and that just takes a little bit of getting used to on how to do this there we go and I'm gonna wrap right up to that post and the reason I'm gonna do that is because I'm gonna hide my last couple of wraps with dubbing for the thorax so three Pull tight. You know, if you're good with helicoptering wire off, you can do it that way, but I've never been good at that, so I just go in there and clip it. I 
make sure that looks all looks good. Bind down that. All right. So now we're going to add our hackle feather. And what you're going to do to prep this is you're going to peel off those first few barb barbels. And you want to wrap this, you want to attach this so the cup is facing away from you. And if you can nail the spacing right so that the top of the barbels start either at or above the top of the post, you'd be doing really good. So I just hold that perpendicular or parallel to the post and I continue my even wraps up that post all the way to the top where that first wrap of the sh hackle's gonna go and then I'm gonna work that thread back down that post in order to keep that base even. Again, that, that base is, is critical. Okay, and then I'm gonna bring that thread back to the back of the thorax towards the hook bend. And I made a blend of frog hair dubbing and ice dubbing for our thorax. The ice dubbing gives a little sparkle and that frog's hair helps keep things afloat. So I pinch off a little bit and as I direct dub this, I want to pinch the bottom of that and draw it up with the, with the top hand here. Always spinning your dubbing in the same direction. And once you get a little bit of working material on there, start wrapping forward. And it's always a lot easier to put more on than take it off, so... I'm gonna wrap this forward. Okay, we're gonna add a little more. There we go, we're gonna distribute that. Another technique you could use for this is you could put it in a loop. But we're not going to demo this on this fly. So one more behind. And then I want to make sure that I stack it up there nice there so we don't have a gap underneath the post. And just a tiny, tiny pinch more. And it's actually a little too much. Okay, and bring that up to the top. Show a couple of my thread. There we go. So basically the body of our fly is done now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, throw some half hitches in there to um, create a little head and make this a little part. One, two, three, four. There we go, hold tight. Okay, so now we're gonna take our hackle feather and we're gonna pull it perpendicular to the post and we're gonna start wrapping down three, four, five looks about right. So you wanna, you know, a lot of books will say three wraps of this or two wraps of this or whatever. I like to wrap until I feel good about how it looks. So this took about four or five wraps. I'm going to draw that feather over the top of the fly and down at a downward angle. And then I'm going to choke way up on my thread here. Okay. And I'm going to kind of butt that, those two together and I'm going to snake my thread over the top of the hook shank. I'm going to do that three or four times. Again, you want to choke up on this thread so you don't trap other barbs. I'm going to support the hook eye with a finger. I'm going to pull down tight. I'm going to come in there with my scissors and a V. I'm going to push through that stem. If you, start, if you start chopping, you're going to end up cutting things you don't mean to cut. So I'm going to stroke all that back. Continue to wrap there. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to throw some half hitches in there to finish this off. And I'm just going to do that with my bodkin. It's really 
The whip finisher is nice um, for a lot of flies, but I prefer the half hitches and the bodkin method for this fly because I find that I trap less barbels from the um, hackle feather. Okay. Come in there. Push through that thread with your scissor V. You can kind of pull out any trap barbs with your with your bodkin. Drop a head cement. And there you go. Oh. I'll cut that stem down just a little bit. There you go. And there's your March Brown Clean Camera Special. Again, I'm Jay Elward, the Handmade Angler. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you on the river. Tight lines.